Well, I don't really have everything set up to film properly while I do this today, um, but that's fine. I'm just practicing. So I just, I had seen some videos where people put uh, like a piece of um, sort of Bristol board or paper or something down and they'll pour onto it to make cards and bookmarks and things. But I thought, why not put that in the bottom? It might buckle because I don't think the bottom of this is totally straight. You can see the cor corners are kind of curling up. Um, but I thought if I do that, then maybe I could pour some extra paint on it after with the drips. And then um, maybe I can make that into like uh, cards or bookmarks or something if it turns out looking half decent. I bought a bunch of craft paints and I'm going to try using the craft paints with this Amazon Basics. It's actually school glue. So I think I've heard people say don't use school glue, but apparently I'm going to try that anyways because it's what I had. So I have these little like, what are they called? Craft squares. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just like, I think stack one on the other so it has more support. Um, so hopefully it doesn't bow in the middle and I'll take the plastic just off the top one. I've heard that they're really not good enough to use for the acrylic paintings because they don't hold their shape. I just mostly want to document what I'm doing here so I remember. So this was at about six um, fluid ounces here um, with glue and then I filled up about to eight um, fluid ounces with water and left a little bit of space to try to shake it. So I'm not sure if it's perfectly mixed, but we're going to try that for our pouring medium. And then I have just water here because I'm sure I'm going to have to water stuff down slightly. Um, but I am going to try to use some different colors than I used last time. I'm not going to probably use any of the Artist Loft paint today. And I'm just trying to kind of get myself set up. I bu bought some silicone cups because what I'm finding with these, it's hard to tell, but there's actually like a ridge under here, um, under the lip. And the paint gets all caught in there and you can't really clean it out. Um, and then there's also a ridge at the bottom. And then I found that when I was trying to do this as a flip cup and I had such a small canvas, all the paint ran down the sides. And now today I was reading or watching about how that's not how you should do a flip cup with a huge cup and not a lot of paint. But I kind of figured it out on my own when it didn't really work. Um, so yes, I ordered some little silicone uh, type of cups that are, um, I think they're a hundred milliliters or 150, something like that. So it's like, I don't know, pretty much like half the size of this. So I think that will be good for mixing, uh, like individual colors. And then if I have a bigger canvas, I could use one of these for the flip cup, or I could just use these for other things to store stuff in or whatever. Um, if I don't care that they have paint around the edges because apparently that's really hard to clean. I also want to figure out a system. Um, I think I'm going to put like a, a bin or something with some water in it nearby somewhere so that when I'm done with things like this, if they're hard to clean, I can just chuck them in the bowl or the bin that has water and then maybe it will help clean up be better because you know, I know it's paint, but somehow I didn't anticipate how messy it was going to be. Um, and I also ordered a little, little tiny, tiny spatulas. Cause what I'm finding too, which might be easier, my silicone cups. Um, but this is really hard to get into all the crevices of the cup to get stuff out of it. Um, and if I was going to try to get all the paint out of one of these, for example, or whatever, like trying to reach in with a um, palette knife like this. I'm not sure if you'll get every little speck of paint out. So I bought these spatulas that are supposed to be really small and they're for like getting, you know, makeup and creams and things like that out of their containers, like the last little bit. So I'm hoping they'll work for this purpose. Um, 
I also bought some mixing sticks because I'm finding these get just covered. I'm not sure. I didn't really try to peel it off last time. I just chucked them out and maybe I should have tried to peel it, but I think a certain amount will stick to the wood and then I don't know if any chunks will flake off if I try to use it again. So I think I'll use these up um, and then I'm going to graduate to reusable plastic little stir sticks. Um, so yeah, learning as you go along. So I totally changed my mind <laughs> and I ended up actually pouring with these three ready to pour artist loft colors. Um, that's the crimson turquoise, I believe. Yeah. And bright yellow. Um, this, I did mix two ounces of my glue mixture with um, two ounces of this craft acrylic white paint. So, and it was like so many bubbles. Um, now you can tell it's kind of bleeding together or bleeding into the white. So I'm not sure if that's because my mixture messed up of um, my pouring medium. So anyways, that's what I did. I'm going to try to tilt this and see what it looks like. Bye-bye. Um, it muddied. Like, look at that. Ugh. Um, and it's running, and I think maybe, like, maybe that means my white's too thin. I wonder if I even needed to put pouring medium with the craft paint. But, anyways, or maybe I need to just, I probably should stick to all the same type of paint. So, this painting... Um, it's just in natural light here. It actually, the colors, it's looking more like gold or orange than it does um, in real life. Uh, the blue is more of a turquoise. The yellow is a very bright lemon yellow. And the red is not that deep, but... Um, there's some really neat parts to this. It looks like clouds or like it makes me think of lightning or something. I don't like this part. It looks very muddied. But there's a lot of other neat parts in it. And it's just on a... Um, one of these little craft boards so I don't know what I'll do with it but I just wanted to practice with some cheap materials anyways thanks for watching